last interview at the NFDA convention this year, and we've got a special guest, NFDA's one and only Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, Tara. Thanks so much for having me. You? Thanks for being at a convention. Oh, we've been having a blast. People are everywhere. People are happy. We're in Vegas. We are. There's, no. there's no way we couldn't be having fun right now. So. Exactly. No, yeah. we are so happy to be back in Vegas. We haven't uh -huh. been here actually since 2007. So our wow. members have been waiting for Vegas for a very long time, and uh -huh. we finally made it happen. So <laughs> very excited. Great. Great. So um, let's start off. Sure. Uh, who are you? Where are you from? And what brought you to NFDA this year? Oh, sure. So my name is Anna Bernfeld, and my official title is Senior Vice President of Member Relations at NFDA. And actually, in two months, I'll be celebrating my 26th year at NFDA. It's members are like family to me, so it's the only place I want to be and stay for the rest of my career. And what brought me to NFDA, I actually, while in college, was managing a call center. And NFDA started a member services department where we're in touch with our members. Members call us. We help them with information. Mm -hmm. So I always had a passion for customer service and talking to members. So when the position opened up back in 1997, I jumped at it and then absolutely fell in love with the profession mm -hmm. and our members. So wow, well, super happy to be here. 26 years. 26 wow, years. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. You. Um, can you tell us about, well, oh, about yourself. Now you got involved with NFDA. Kind of. So I, well, actually, my major in college was criminal justice. So that really was not the big tie in. <laughs> but I've always been passionate with customer service, member relations. So when I worked in the call center, it was all about connecting with consumers about various charities and raising mm -hmm. money for charities. So when the position at NFDA opened up and the position involved member service, I thought, well, that would be a natural fit to move on to that area. And I was not a funeral director and did not know anything about funeral mm -hmm. service. And 26 years later, I'm here and I couldn't be any happier mm -hmm. to be with NFDA and to help our members. Oh, great. Um, amazing. So what's the main mission of NFDA and is there anything new or exciting happening on your end? Definitely. So our members are the kindest, most loving, Mm -hmm. incredible people in their communities. They're the caregivers. They care for families at the worst times in their lives. Mm -hmm. And our job at NFDA is support the caregivers, support those who help others. Mm -hmm. And looking at our member, Charlie right here, who I've known for many years, <laughs> and when Charlie needs anything, he calls us. Mm -hmm. And it's our job to support him. So it's whatever keeps our members up at night, whatever issues they're facing, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we connect them with the proper resources. Mm -hmm. And if we can't figure it out, we get somebody else to help. But mm -hmm. as soon as you call an FDA, we're there for you. That's the only reason that we exist. As far as what's new, we're always looking out for the needs of our members. What do they need in their business? What do they need in their communities? What do they need in their life? Um, we actually just introduced couple of weeks ago and already a lot of members signed up for it an NFDA branded credit card where members can save a lot of money with this credit card they get anything from NFDA that they purchase they get 10% back so that's great mm -hmm. they also get 2% back on everything else wow. the great thing about it is that there's no um, it does not affect their personal credit mm -hmm. they can get as many cards as they want for their staff and the next piece of that is going to be this credit card is going to be connecting with suppliers to see if we're able to offer member discounts to our members through that as well. Another uh, new member benefit we just introduced Monday of convention is succession planning resources. The statistics for NFDA membership is that 46% of our members are going to be retiring in the next five years. So the demographics are changing rapidly. Okay. So we've partnered with Foresight mm -hmm. and Johnson Consulting to help our members with the next phase. Or if some are looking to add on a funeral home, or if you're looking to pass it on, or if you're looking to sell, oh. succession planning needs to start much earlier than when you're actually ready to retire. Mm -hmm. And those two companies have incredible resources. They're well known, respected in the profession. So we're very excited to partner with them. We've also um, 
this past year, we're known for our education. I mean, mm -hmm. you come to NFDA mm -hmm. convention, you go to workshops, you go to general sessions. We've um, added on free webinars for our members. So variety of topics, anything that they may need, even on things maybe they're not as familiar with, maybe green funerals. Mm -hmm. um, we had an amazing one a few weeks ago on hospitality. We have ones coming up on how to get more calls in 2024. Mm -hmm. And these are free for our members and it's free for all of their employees as well. Wow. So that's some new resources that we have. So we're always looking out for whatever our members, where they're heading and what they need. Yeah, and it's fun to know that, I mean, no matter what, we're all gonna end up in a funeral home one day, yes. having to deal with a, a lot of emotions and to know that the people that are gonna help us during those times are also being helped on another side is it's just great and that's, i think it's an amazing resource all the resources are amazing that's actually. exactly right i mean mm. we take care of the caregivers so whatever mm. they need to help the grieving families is what nfda is going to help for them incredible <laughs> um looking ahead where do you see nfda heading and what kind of support will be important to achieve uh, those goals it's a great question we actually have just um, completed very intensive review of our strategic plan. Mm -hmm. And we work together with the Funeral Service Foundation Board of Directors, NFDA Board of Directors, looking ahead. So not just what's happening now, but what's gonna be happening down the line. Mm -hmm. And what we keep hearing from members, the number one issue that they're facing is recruitment. So as I mentioned that other statistic that members are planning to retire, you need that new generation coming in. Yeah. So that is a major focus for us for the next few years. Um, one of the things we already actually have, we have the world's largest funeral career center. I don't know if you knew that. No. And it's specifically dedicated to funeral service. So it's the Funeral Service Career Center if you go to NFD website. If you are an employee looking mm -hmm. for a new position, maybe you just graduated mortuary school, you can post your resume for free. If you're an employer looking to hire somebody, you pay and then mm. you post your job. So it's our way of connecting mm -hmm. those seeking jobs. So I think a lot of our members maybe don't know that we actually have that. Sure. Another uh, resource that we have that our members can use in their own communities because our members are so well connected in their communities and their community members look at them mm -hmm. for information on funeral service. So we've developed a um, brand new career kit so you take this career kit, includes a video, great brochures. You go to your local schools, you go to your local communities, wherever there are young people looking to see what's gonna be my career. And you're, yeah. our members are passionate about what they do. So using this kit, it gives them the tools and the resources to actually introduce that. Another program we're super proud of and we partnered with Funeral Service Foundation on, it's called Journey to Serve. Okay. And that one is aimed specifically specifically at veterans. So a lot of veterans, after they leave active duty, they're mm -hmm. looking for a new career. And they have a lot of the same characteristics, you know, hardworking, compassionate, that our members have. So we developed this program that all of our members can use to recruit military veterans. And we have so many success stories already where our members are hiring veterans mm -hmm. and they're fitting in so well in their communities. Oh. So that's another one. Also, and I think it's not just funeral service, but especially funeral service because such a high touch, high stress, and there's a high degree of compassion fatigue and some burnout occurring, mm -hmm. that we're really focusing on mental health of our members and their families because funeral director, their families are not seeing them as much. They need support mm -hmm. as well. So NFDA introduced member assistance program and the program is not just for you, the funeral director, it's for your families as well. So anybody at the funeral home that can use this program. And what does it include? First of all, just know that it's completely confidential. We will never know that you called or texted or videoed with someone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's resources. Maybe you have elder care issues with your parents going into nursing home. You're not sure mm -hmm. how to deal with it. Maybe your son or daughter is suffering from depression. Maybe you yourself have anxiety. Whatever it is, there's various entry points into this program. But if you need 
it all the way for counseling, we also include three in-person counseling sessions, and that's completely covered by NFDA. And we just want to make sure our members are aware of this program and that they're using this program because the, we need to take care of the caregivers. Mm -hmm. You all need to take care of yourselves and take, take five, which actually leads mm -hmm. me to another little program we have <laughs> called Take Five. It's a series, I mean, it takes five minutes. It's just a series of short activities. You can stop in the middle of the day, log on to this Take Five, distresses you. So we keep focusing on those kind of resources to make sure that while they take care of families, we take care of them as well. Yeah. You guys have so many resources. It's incredible. We do. Yeah, we and, do. And I feel like your answers have really been telling me how much the NFDA really cares so much. So much. Because having, you know, even just mental health focused activities or resources is just amazing because any anyways exactly you and you know i explained to our wow. members too use it as a recruitment and retention tool at your funeral homes because not a lot of funerals can afford to do this on their own you know mm -hmm. to pay for this assistance program so you hire somebody else hire somebody and you yeah. explain you know this is covered for you we take mm -hmm. care of you i think that's the main thing people want to know i matter yeah. And this is a way that you can show that to your employees, and it's a great retention tool because if somebody is struggling with any kind of issue, you as the employer are saying, listen, Tara, I'm not going to ask you any questions. I want to give you mm -hmm. a brochure. Mm -hmm. Just well, I want you to take care of yourself, yeah. and then hopefully you follow up. Mm -hmm. And our util all we know is utilization rate, and it's been climbing, oh, and that's great. because members need that support. So. It's we a, are, yeah. want to make sure they use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and last question for you today. Uh, what can your exhibitors and partners look forward to at this event? What should they aim to learn or take away? Definitely. So, as I mentioned, we um, actually have been so excited to come back to Vegas. We haven't been here since 2007. Mm -hmm. And Vegas is always just one of our most popular destinations. Mm -hmm. Our members love Vegas. and. Vegas has so much to offer. So, I mean, besides the city itself, I and mean, which is itself such a huge draw, if you look at the expo floor, I'm, you know, like I said, I've been here 26 years. I am still amazed every time I walk in here, my jaw just drops the number of products and services. Mm -hmm. I mean, having you guys here, have it. there's so many new companies that come every year. Mm -hmm. And then where else would you see and know and learn about all the new things happening in funeral service. I mean, a big focus has been, everyone's been hearing about AI, right? Oh yeah. Like it or not, uh -huh. we got some workshops uh -huh. focused on that. That's something new for us. So what we actually do is we look to see what our members need now, but we also need to see what our members need for the future. Mm -hmm. So we have a convention education task force made up entirely of our members, different demographics. And, um, the members, the committee members are looking to see what's going to be coming up. So things like maybe a lot of members are not familiar with alkaline hydrolysis, natural organic reduction, mm -hmm. artificial intelligence, you know, some of these topics. But still the heart and soul of funeral service is embalming and that's always our most popular workshops that we provide to our members. Um, our keynotes have been absolutely phenomenal. We're getting such great feedback at our keynotes. I mean, yesterday was Mark Shulman, the drum, famous drummer, oh. and he had such an inspirational speech. So that was pretty great. Today, the closing speaker is going to be on AI because our members, and I've already talked to some of them at convention, there's a number of things they're already using with the AI, AI writing obituaries. Yes. They're doing that, mm -hmm. um, gathering information with photos and compiles that. Mm -hmm. So. And there's a lot of things we're trying to do with the association itself because it can, nobody's ever going to replace the compassion and care. Mm -hmm. But if you can do your job a little bit more efficient. Exactly. So we just look, you know, so over 40 different workshops and the speakers and all of our exhibitors. Um, and we're super excited. Next year, we already have our date set. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in New Orleans, mm -hmm. October 20th through the 23rd, another super exciting city. So mark that on your calendar, and we're going to be so excited to see you. But if you've never been to NFJ convention, it's hard for me to even put into words what you'll experience here. But 
it's it's life changing because you truly feel inspired and you take away so much um, oh. for your job and for what you want to do for well. yourself. It's time for yourself uh -huh. as well. Exactly. Yeah, no, I I can tell you guys. Coming here is really, really worth it. Even if it wasn't in Vegas, I'd be here and I'd be having a blast. Excellent. So, well, we're gonna be. We got New Orleans, then mm -hmm. we got Chicago, and then we got Charlotte. So oh, yeah. all coming up. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Anna, for taking the time to chat with us. Tell us more about NFDA. It's my pleasure. I really appreciate it. Oh. We're just so grateful to all of our supporters, our mm -hmm. members, our exhibitors, and thank you so much for coming to NFDA. Great. So you guys go check out their website to look at all their resources, find out more um, at well, nfda.org. Nfda.org. Got to go there. See ya. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.